Hi everyone, in this video we will continue our discussion on stem cell research. We have discussed a couple of uh, points in our previous video we have, where we have tried to explain what is, uh, or rather tried to discuss what is stem cell, how it functions, and in this video, as you can see on your computer screen, I'm trying to explain uh, how the stem cells, they are important uh, in case of the stem cell research and also how you can grow these cells in the lab. What kind of environment you need and also we'll discuss the medical opportunities associated with the stem cell research and we'll also discuss the social and the ethical issues this topic is really big and i will include more topics a small small video lectures in future and i hope that these videos those videos are going to help you to understand this particular topic if you like the content then please do subscribe to the channel and if you like the video hit the like button in this video, we will continue our discussion on stem cells. In the previous video, I have discussed the brief introduction of stem cell. We have discussed the, the functions of the stem cells. Here, we will you know, continue our discussion where uh, we will discuss some of the important uh, aspects. For example, the first one is the, is the ultimate stem cell of mammals. So the question is, what is the ultimate stem cell of mammals? The answer is the egg. Egg. Why? Because it has the ability to, to form early embryonic cells and they are stem cells. They have the ability to make all kinds of uh, tissues as well as have the ability to form the entire body. They are known as embryonic stem cells. We are not discussing the types of stem cells here, but we will discuss that particular topic in our future video. Here, if we define what are the ESCs or embryonic stem cells, these are the cells of the early embryo that have the ability to form any part of the body, which is fascinating, right? Because these cells can give rise to any type of tissue. So here, diagrammatically, I'm trying to show you this is the egg. And after fertilization, you can see the construction of these early embryonic stem cells. And these cells have the ability to, these cells have the ability to construct the entire body. So this is the schematic I'm trying to show you of the human body. So basically, this is the, you know, abstract of the complete process. But this process is very detailed. So ESCs, the important aspect of ESCs is that they can be grown in the lab. You can grow these cells, you can experiment with these cells. And because of that, we were able to find out uh, uh, amazing biological, or rather answer amazing biological questions. Here, the important part is you can provide suitable environmental conditions and then convert these cells into a specific cell type. And if I show you, this is a type of uh, cell culture plate that you can use to grow cells. And here you can see I'm uh, making these round structures. They are cells that usually grow um, after they attach to the bottom of the petri plate. And you add medium and then you keep on adding and changing medium because the cells usually they, they grow slower than the bacteria. And uh, that basically the part of that research is also known as stem cell research. And in stem cell research, you have medical opportunities as well as you have social and ethical issues. Both of these topics, they are beyond the scope of this video, by the way. But I can tell you there are medical opportunities. For example, you have in vitro fertilization where you can fertilize egg sperms in lab and form the embryo. You can also do nuclear extraction where you have defective sperm and you can extract the nucleus and then use that part to fertilize the egg. And then you have a lot of ethical issues concerning the human research, animal research. And, you know, this is a very detailed topic to discuss. It's a huge topic, the ethics involving the experiment with human cells, animals, Usually in any institution, there are institutional ethical committees, animal experimentation 
committees that review the project and after the approval you can you can do research on that particular project remember as a research researcher you need to understand the importance of ethics in the research maybe in in our future videos we will discuss the ethical part of the uh, research especially involving the the animals as well as the cells but here i just wanted to discuss briefly about the stem cells and i hope this video is going to help you to understand this particular area and uh, in future i'm going to bring more videos where we'll discuss everything in detail in this video we discussed how we can grow stem cells inside the lab we have just discussed the introduction of that topic in my future videos i'm going to cover the specific specific details of that particular topic so that you can you can understand how you can grow mammalian cells or stem cells in the lab i have also discussed the medical opportunities as well as the social and the ethical issue involved in the stem cell research i hope this video is going to help you to understand this topic and if you like the video then please do hit the like button and if you like the content of this channel then please do subscribe to the channel